I've got some good news for a change. Yeah. Amazing. Some good news, I think. In the world of horror. Anyone like 28 Days Later? I quite like 28 Days Later. Would you like a sequel to that? Would you like maybe three of them? Maybe. I quite like the sound of that. That's what we're going to be getting. Danny Boyle and Alex Garland teaming for a sequel to their zombie hit 28 Days Later and exclusive to The Hollywood Reporter. However, it is not in the headlines. It looks like it's going to be a trilogy. I actually, I think this is cool. I think this is good news. I like, I like that movie. I like, yeah, I like it. Killian Murphy was good in it. Gritty. Set in England. Do like do like a bit of the UK. I mean, not now. It's dog shit at the moment. But it's good in movies sometimes. So, yeah, no, all, all sort of jokes aside, ramble all, all aside. I think this is very good news. Uh, Alex Garland has... Yeah, I mean, he's proven himself. <laughs> he's had some hit, hits and misses. Um, but he's good, and he was good when he worked with Danny Boyle. Danny Boyle was good, obviously. We all know this. I think this is good news. I'm very excited for this. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. If you're new here, do hit subscribe as well and turn the bell notifications on. As you can probably tell, I've sorted my mic stand out. <laughs> anyway, so uh, just over two decades, 20, nearly tw oh, well, over 20 years later. Wow. Um, after unleashing a zombie epidemic, modern horror classic 28 Days Later is getting a new sequel. Maybe even a trilogy of sequels. That's what it's looking like, a trilogy. So Danny Boyle and Alex Garland, the director and writer of the 2002 movie, are returning, or reuniting, sorry, for 28 Years Later, which is a zombie thriller that is expected to hit studios, streamers, and other potential buyers later this week. So it, they don't have, they don't have a distributor, a production house. I'd imagine Danny Boyle will probably produce it as well. But they don't have anyone. They're pitching it. Um, so that's interesting. Very, very interesting. Now, uh, WME, which reps Boyle and Garland, will take out the package and handle the scale or handle the sale. Sorry. And it's looking like they're going to launch a new trilogy. That's what this is. What they're trying to sell it as. You know, it's not just this movie. We want three of them, which is pretty good. It's interesting as well because, I mean, it shows that the first two didn't have a home specifically. It looks like the rights are just up in the air. They can kind of sell it to whoever, which is a pretty big deal. It's not often that these movies get up for sale like this. The last time we heard about, uh, coincidentally, it was a horror as well. It was the sequel to Barbarian. Bar that, was, that was weird, wasn't it? Barbarian. Uh, and that guy sort of put his script up for sale, basically, pitched it, and it went for mega money. It's not often we hear about this, but this is, yeah, this is good news. I'm right, I think this is great. So the package isn't just a simple modern sequel installment. The movie already had a follow-up with 28 Weeks Later, released in 2007. The duo were only involved with as executive producers on that film. Now the hope is to launch a new trilogy. And they have spoken about this before. I've done a video on it. So Boyle is attached to direct the first installment. Garland would write all three. And the budget for each movie would be in the 75 million range. Hmm. I think that's going to put people off. In a... In the era of declining box office, 75 million dollars budget for each film that's a lot i think that's going to really put people off a lot actually like a significant amount i think that's something genuinely to worry about i think that will hinder people pitching pitching uh bidding on this 75 million dollars is a hell of a lot now they'd probably make some money on i don't know secondary Secondary sales and things like that. Streaming rights. DVD, Blu-ray. 
things like that. But $75 million, I think, personally, sounds way too much for these movies. I mean, yeah, it's way too much. What are they thinking? A budget for something like this should be $30 million. So, you know, it has to, has to break $100 million to start getting some good returns, basically, which I think that's fine. $75 million, you're looking at over $200 million to start breaking even, which is, that's optimistic for something like this. So now, my positivity is uh, waning. Now, they say that the pair, pair would also produce... Uh, as would original producer Andrew McDonald and Peter Rice, the former head of Fox Searchlight. Um, I just... Uh, where did they get... Where did they get $75 million from? Where did they get it? 28 Days Later had a budget of $8 million, guys. It had a budget of $8 million. $8 million. And 28 weeks later, only had a budget of $15 million. Now, I think they're, I mean, they're going for 28 years later, so maybe it's going to be significantly you know, more apocalyptic. But to go from $8 million, which was the intro film 22 years ago, to 75? That's way too much. That's going to put people off. Now, the pair have talked publicly about potential sequels over the decades. 28 months later was one title bounced around, with 28 years later coming into focus as an idea in recent years, which is what I've done a video on before. Um, Killian Murphy was obviously, you know, in 28 Days Later. If you don't know, starred as a man that wakes up from a coma after a bicycle accident to find England, now a desolate post-apocalyptic wasteland thanks to a virus that turned its victims into zombies, basically. That's what it was. Um, and they even say, you know, the movie proved to be a surprise and profitable hit, but more impactfully, it revitalized the zombie horror genre. Kicking off the next decade and a half, we had so many fucking zombie movies after that. Uh, look, this is, this is good news. It is good news. I'm keen for this. I'm keen for 28 years later. But what I am not keen for is $75 million budgets, because that's going to be a very short-lived trilogy. That's stupid. No matter, like, it doesn't even... Even accounting for inflation, like, to go from $8 million to seventy-five. That that's That's a lot. That is a lot. It's too much. It's too much for a horror movie. I don't think they're going to get that. They shouldn't get that. If I was a studio, I'd be like, no... No, 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 no. Knock $50 million off that. $25 million is what we'd make it for. That's what I would do. Just scale it down. Guarantee profit. They don't need such... Ex ex Maybe they're trying to get Killian... No. Maybe? No. It's not... No. I don't know. Where'd you get $75 million from? Anyway, leave your thoughts down below. Cheers, guys. Take care. Bye-bye now.